Hey guys, Donna here, hope you're doing well. Today I wanna to talk about what happens when one of your coaching clients, you know, if you're a coach or a mentor and one of your own specific clients has outgrown you um, and, and doesn't necessarily need your support anymore, what does that mean? You know, a topic to explore and discuss. And for the most part, what I truly believe is that is a great thing. This is assuming that the clients have had success, they've gone through your program, they've implemented what they've learned, they've loved it, you know, it's been a positive experience. So why is this a great thing? Well, first and foremost, in my opinion, we, never, we should never want our clients, our mentorees, our coaching clients to be constantly needing us forever. They're not, then they're not growing, then, then they're not um, advancing, they're not getting any better, if you want to call it, they're not overcoming their hurdles. Um, and now obviously a lot of it can be on them, you know, if they're not doing the work and if they're not taking action, if they're not implementing what they're learning, that's out of your control, obviously. But for the most part, I want all of my mentorees to not necessarily outgrow me, but to have fantastic success. And I don't necessarily want them to need me to hold their hand all the time, forever. Like I don't mind helping them when they need the help, but it makes me super happy when they are achieving success and they're growing and they're doing new things. That's fantastic. So I think from a coaching perspective, I don't want anyone to be beneath me all the time. I don't want to be this big overarching leader that's constantly pushing people down. I want people to surpass me. That's perfectly okay. So that's the first reason why it's a good thing. If they're, if they're outgrowing you because they've learned everything that they can learn from you and there's nothing left and now they need to look for bigger and more exciting things and take their business to the next level, fantastic. You've done good work with them. That's a good thing. Now, the second reason why I think clients that outgrow you, um, mentoring clients or coaching clients, is this. If they are no longer learning from you, and if you're no longer providing the value that they need, then this is the perfect wake-up call for you to level up yourself as a coach or mentor. Meaning, it's time that you actually upgraded your skills that you advanced yourself, that you created new programs, new content, new amazingness, new value for people. And nothing beats people saying, well, I've learned everything I can learn from you and there's nothing left for me to learn. Um, so thank you. I love you, but I'm going to go check out somebody else. What a perfect slap across the cheek to go, wow, maybe I need to learn something and upgrade. Maybe I need to upgrade my mentor and coach and maybe I need to be growing myself as a person. So I'm staying ahead of the pack. Now, of course, that doesn't mean people are going to stay with you forever. That, and that's perfectly reasonable. But it's just a great opportunity for you to look inside and look back at yourself and reflect and think, how else could I help these clients grow? What do they need that I'm not providing that I could possibly learn myself and then teach them how to do it? So I, it's just something, I mean, it's something that's happened to me. I've had some mentorees tell me, I've signed up for a new mastermind. I'm really excited. And that's totally cool. I'm so excited for them. I wish them 100,000% success. And they're still great friends of mine. It's not like I don't like them anymore. <laughs> but it was a, I thought, you know what? This is a really good lesson for me and something that I could share with you. Now, obviously, a lot of my videos are dedicated to virtual assistants who are thinking, but I'm not a coach or a mentor. So why, you know, why would I need to watch this? But it is definitely something that you um, should pay attention to if you're not a coach or mentor and you're at the recipient end and your coach or mentor is constantly pushing you down and making sure you're beneath them and they're not actually elevating you and encouraging you to fly your wings, you know, <laughs> leave the nest, then maybe it's time you actually have a think about who it is that you're working with and whether they're the right fit for you at this point in your stage in your business. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Have you had a really great coach, um, that has encouraged you to, you know, leave the nest? Uh, or have you had one that hasn't been like that, you know? I mean, don't name any names, obviously. Don't, I don't want to hear any bad stuff. And I don't, I think it's inappropriate. But I think, you know, I'd love to hear more about your experience. So um, leave a comment below and uh, like this video. And if you want to get more from me and more of my stuff, then please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.